Hey everybody, so I'm back from my vacation. I want to thank everyone for being so patient with that. Um, I was out in the Eagle River, Wisconsin, which is like in a very remote resort, and so I did not quite have the Wi-Fi or internet connection I expected. Plus it was a wedding, so I was a hot tranny mess the whole time. Um, but it, you know, so that wouldn't have been good anyway. But I wanted to thank everybody for being so patient. I got my, you know, I got home, I got on the plane, I checked my uh, Wi-Fi through the plane, and I saw still a whole bunch of orders and things, and so I'm going to be catching up with everybody ASAP. Um, so I just want everyone to know that, and I'll, I'll try and have your forecasts out late tonight or tomorrow. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know that, you know, I'm back and everything's cool now. Some people didn't know I was on vacation, but, um, you know, I understand also stress doesn't take a holiday, as I was told in a rather uh, scathing email. Um, and so I, you know, just thank you for your patience and everything. Everyone does need a vacation every once in a while. This is about two and a half years coming. Um, I also wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, some things that I learned you know, just, you know, not just on the trip, but I've been thinking about this all through the past couple of weeks. And I wanted to talk about, you know, love and all that stuff. And there's an opportunity um, that comes with love. Um, and this could be any kind of love. It doesn't have to be romantic love. It doesn't have to be family love. It doesn't have to be friends. Um, it could even be what we term unrequited love. And a big part of that has to do with the opportunity that comes from feeling that love. Um, and what that is, is that, you know, that love is coming from within. You're not, the love isn't coming to you through that person. I mean, they can give love, yes, but sometimes you feel that love emanating from you as a, you know, as a response to an, you know, to a stimulus that you have attracted to yourself and manifested for yourself uh, through anything. I mean, this could even come from, you know, having a whole bunch of cats. And there is, you know, a opportunity that comes with that. If you want to keep that love going, you know, you can't bottle it up and you can't reserve it for that place and time or that person or that event, you know, because things are always changing and always evolving. Um, and the best thing you can do to keep that love flowing from yourself, not to yourself, from yourself, is to give that to your loved ones and to give that to everyone, you know, um, open heart, no judgment eyes open, no fear. And a lot of the time, what we happens to people is that, you know, and it can get complicated. It really can um, with a lot of folks when it comes to dealing with love and how to share love. Some people want to possess it. Some people want to possess how other people feel their love. Some people don't think it's okay to have a boundless amount of love, which is funny because it is in infinite capacity. And if you want to keep that love coming from yourself, from yourself, that's what you're feeling. It's coming from you, from in here. You know, the, the emanation, the manifestation that is your spirit on this term, this life, this experience, you've got to keep it going out. And I don't care if you, it's because you have feelings for somebody who doesn't reflect those feelings for you, or if it's because you're feeling love coming from, you know, close friends, um, if you're feeling love from your pets, or, you know, or your family, you have to, you know, keep up the pace, keep giving that love and put it in everything that you do. And you'll still feel that love coming from you. But I think that what people are trying to do a lot of the times that brings them to a, pl a place of disappointment is that they're trying to possess, mandate, control, and funnel that love into very limited things. And there's always going to be runoff and disappointment and blockages and shortages when you're trying to put something that is infinite through something that is not. Okay, and so it, what we really do need to do is realize the opportunity that comes when you feel love coming from yourself. You feel good, you feel strong, you, you feel powerful and secure. Nobody makes you feel safe. Nobody makes you feel love. That love is already within you. It is reacting. It is coming out. It's an opportunity to learn to express that and give that to more. If you find yourself in a position where loving or being, you know, in a position where you could love is hurting you, um, then what, we, what is really happening is that we're not necessarily putting that love to good use. Any idiot can fall in love. It's not hard. 
But what are they going to do with that love? You know, that love, again, is, is coming from you to enhance the quality of your life. But if you're not turning that love into something positive, if it's not making your life better, then you are the one who has to take responsibility for it. We all do. You know, and this is a lesson that I learned, you know, watching a lot of things happen. You know, I have a lot of friends who are getting married, a lot of family members who are getting married. Um, I have a lot of friends who are also, you know, you know, a lot of my friends from high school are starting to split up and, you know, get their divorces and whatnot. And a lot of people are also having kids. And there's a lot of opportunity, again, for openness and, you know, open heart, again, free of judgment, infinite love, infinite light, happiness. And some people are doing it beautifully. You know, I had a wonderful time on my vacation. It was a, it was a, it was a wonderful experience, you know, and just being open hearted, you know, and just like giving it out that can't be stopped. That is the most powerful force, you know, eyes open, no fear. It's going to, you know, it will make things perfect. But I also see people in my personal life back home here in Seattle, you know, where that love is becoming an obsession. Again, you are cramming an infinite. It's like trying to, you know, to push the entire ocean through a straw. It's going to make a mess and it's going to be impossible. And depending on the pressure, it could break the straw. And so I think that, you know, there is an opportunity in love to create and to have more and feel that love, whether or not that person, that friend, that family member, that, you know, whomever leaves your life. You can still have that love come forth and it can still be something that is a, a thing of great power and beauty for you and that which is still love in your life. But we have to, we have to make sure, sorry, my cat was trying to get out the door. Um, what we have to make sure of is that we are, again, letting it come forth and letting it be used in a, in a positive way. Think about what you're doing when you have an opportunity to have love come from you because that's the only place it comes from. And think about what you're doing with that love and that opportunity and the time that it comes. If you can stay in that moment, you can make that moment last forever, regardless of what you're doing, where your situation is. But if you're forcing yourself to, you know, I guess you could say contrive an avenue or a purpose or a command for that love, you know, you're, you're putting a limitation on it and that's where the fear comes, you know, you show a little bit of fear when you're trying to control. And if you're not careful, you're going to waste a lot of time you could be loving, combating a lot of fear and trying to control that. And so I wanted to, you know, just kind of share that message with everybody before I get back to, you know, doing a severe catch up after the, you know, five, five days or so that I spent out in Wisconsin having a wonderful time. And we can talk about that maybe too. Um, so I will see you all soon. Hope you are all having a wonderful and beautiful summer.